For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, this is a problem that says the position of the particle is given by S is equal to 2t squared minus 8t plus 6 2t squared minus 8t plus 6 where t is in seconds find the time when the velocity of the particle is 0 and the total distance traveled by the particle at t is equal to 3 seconds so you know that the velocity is given by the derivative of the position with respect to time so the velocity is equal to 4t minus 8 now they're asking you find the time when the velocity is 0 so v is equal to 0 4t minus 8 and you just gotta solve for t and you get that t is equal to 2 seconds now they're asking you for the total distance traveled by the particle at 3 now let's say the particle moves here and then it moves here let's call this distance a and let's call this distance b so the total distance traveled over here will be a plus b you gotta notice that a common mistake is to think that this is the total distance traveled but this is wrong the total distance travels is how much did the particle move to find the total distance traveled total distance what you gotta do is you gotta find the derivative of the position and when you find the derivative then you got to set it equal to zero and find the time when that derivative is equal to zero and that will give you the moment where the particle turns and then you measure the distance from here to here and from here to here so that's what we're going to do we already found the derivative of the of the position and we found that it's 4t minus 8 and we already set it equal to 0 in the previous question so we know that the particle turns at some point where t is equal to 2 seconds so we got t is equal to 0 when it starts t is equal to 2 when it turns and t is equal to 3 because that's what they're asking us at 3 how much did it, did it travel so what's the distance travel from 0 to 2 seconds well when s when t is 0, s is equal to 6. How about 2 seconds? When t is 2, s is equal to negative 2. And at 3, s is equal to 0. So, from here to here, we travel. 8 meters and from here to here we travel 2 meters so all you gotta do is add them up and the sum is equal to 10 meters final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you